is sponsored by the magazine College Music Journal. The latest CMJ Marathon was held last week, and the big buzz bands were LA's Weezer, which is already signed to Nirvana's label, DGC Records, and the hot Chicago guitar band, Veruca Salt, named after a character in the children's story, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Check them out. For a young band, College Radio Airplay is crucial. So when the College Music Journal, known as CMJ, has its annual showcase, some 400 bands come out and play. And of course, there's always a show that everybody's got to see, and tonight we checked in with it. It was Baruch Assault and Weezer. What were you doing a year ago? I was about 40 streets uh, away from the Hojo that we're staying at tonight, making our record. That would be the L.A.-based quartet self-titled debut album, finally finished after a slew of rejection. One sweet <coughs> record label called, their secretary called us, and they left, they, they left the message on the answering, our answering machine. They said, well, we got your tape, and well, we listened to it, and we decided to pass. Undaunted, Weezer sent a tape to Rico Kasich of the Cars, who liked it and signed on as their producer. He made everything smooth. He smoothed things out. He's, he's been, in, you know, he's been around. He knows what's going on. He's we, on the other hand, do not. We freaked out. Did your record sound the way you intended it to sound? For the most part, definitely. It was, it was like, it's really straightforward, like guitars sound like guitars. in the sweater song, which is captured on video, which inspires a certain reoccurring request from fans. They want him to do the dance. Yeah, they want me to do, do that dance. stupid ass thing I did, which I completely regret. What's changed most about your live performance since you guys have been spending more time on the road now? <laughs> Gotten much better. Oh, you much better? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> since forming almost two years ago, Chicago's Baruch Assault has had record companies and the music press in a tizzy. So much so, the band resorted to an unusual method when choosing a record label. And then we had three Mexican jumping beans. And, um... <laughs> Each with the name of a major label on it. And we, we decided whichever one lives longest. That's what we saw. Really? But they, kept but they all died. They kept switching position, then they all died. Then we so couldn't they remember they which, which is which, and then they all died. So Baruch Assault went the indie route and released a 7-inch single that won raves for its subversive approach to pop. I have the tendency to write pop songs, um, but but I don't have the tendency to write them about um, being really happy or being madly in love or something. So um, it ends up maybe being darker. I'll be the first to kill you, and if you won't die, I will. It's cool. I mean, it's it's nice to be noticed and everything, but we definitely feel like we have a lot of work ahead. Weezer will open up for live on a tour that gets underway this weekend. As for Veruca Assault, that group has just released an independent album called American Thighs, and it's currently stirring a feeding frenzy among major labels. The band will be joining Hole and Mount